Welcome back Glam Fam. It's Angela Denise and I am here with you today with more Sephora damage. So Sephora decided that they were going to extend this weekend's sale to both VIB Rouge and VIBs um, and we were able to get that same 20% off as we were a few weekends ago. So girl I seen the email and I basically just blacked out. I stumbled in Sephora on Friday so I ended up leaving with a even bigger bag than I had originally because I went ahead and picked up a few things that I wanted to include in a future giveaway that just so happens to be coming up at some point in December. So if you guys want to see what I decided to pick up on this second round, girl, just keep on watching. So this month long Sephora sale has really taken a toll on my coin. So I will not ramble any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and just start grabbing things out of the bag and talking to you about what I got, why I got it, and all of those things. Here we go. And again, I am VIB Rouge, so I got 20% off of everything. So I'm not gonna do any math or anything like that in this video. I'm just gonna talk about what I got. The first thing that I got that I decided I wanted to go ahead and restock my collection with was the Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. And this is one that I actually really, really like, not necessarily for oil controlling, but this time of year with my skin becomes a little bit more dehydrated. Um, this is really a really good all-purpose primer that I can put all over the face and it really does a great job at prolonging the wear of my foundation. So uh, Fenty does a great primer so if you guys have not tried it out um, I highly recommend it. So yeah that is actually the second primer that I picked up during the VIP sale. The first time around I picked up the Hourglass Mineral Veil about a week ago. Um, I did haul that on my channel last week. So yeah, um, really looking forward to circulating that back through my routine. The second thing is a foundation that I have really, really, really been enjoying over the last few months. And that is the Dior Backstage Foundation. Um, I already have it in my collection in 5N, but I need a winter shade or at least something to lighten up the 5N. And so I went ahead and picked up the 4.5 W. Um, I really, really, really love this foundation. I actually have it on my face right now. It does a great job um, at giving you coverage without the weight. My skin feels like there's nothing on it, honestly. I absolutely love the Dior Backstage Foundations. And this is actually one of my most favorite foundations that I've tried this year. Love it. I decided that I wanted to try out the new mascara that Hourglass brought out a few months back and that is the Extreme Lash Caution Mascara and honestly guys the packaging is absolutely luxe. It is a pretty big wand. I love the packaging. I'm wearing it on my lashes today um, because I'm not wearing any fake lashes. This is probably one of the only times I've gotten on camera without lashes on uh, but yeah I'm currently testing this out. It was a pretty pricey mascara at $29 so this 20% off really does come in handy. So let's talk about pencils. I picked up three pencils and one liquid liner Friday and all three of these are from the Sephora collection. You guys should know because I've been raving about them here the last few months. Um, I've really been liking the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner and this one is in the color Hot Sauce. So if you are medium dark deep skin tone this is a really great nude color and this one is hot sauce and it is really pretty it is like a nude mauve colored lip liner i really love it these lip liners are super affordable these are 12 dollars so one of the things that i love about these lip liners is that they're not matte but they do stay in place pretty well. They are affordable. They have a great color range. They don't smell that great, but I love it. I love that it's the twist kind. So you know when you're about to run out. So the second liner that I got is Wino. And it is a really beautiful berry color. That is Wino. And that is hot sauce. 
love these two. So the third pencil from the Sephora collection that I picked up is actually a liner. And this is going to be one of the first uh, of these liners that I'm trying out. I'm trying to open it. This is a waterproof formula and this is a matte brown and the, the name of it is called tiramisu this is not like a twisty this is one that you have to sharpen oh it's nice and buttery too so this is a beautiful brown dark brown color so i'm excited to try it love their pencils so for my liquid liner i'm going to go ahead and try out the fenty beauty fly liner because i'm black and you get that old traditional little ball in there that you get to hear. So I heard that this was super black and it is. So I had to pick up a blush, you guys. I have been yearning for a good blush, seems like these days. And one that I have been eyeballing for months, seriously months, is the Tom Ford blush. This is the first one in my collection. I am so excited about it. I have it on today. I wore it once uh, already yesterday. And this is the color Ravish. Now, I didn't put a lot of it on. This is a very pigmented formula. Um, this is very pricey. Just going to let you know now. This is a $62 blush, so I expect everything from it. it. It's not completely matte. It has a little bit of iridescence to it. It's absolutely be beautiful. And I believe that this is one that you can wear all season. So it comes in its own little velvety bag. It better for the price. And look at the packaging, you guys. This is beautiful packaging. And this is 0.28 ounces of product, eight grams, and this is the color 05 Ravish. And you don't get a brush, which I don't need, because um, I wouldn't use it anyways. But this is a little plastic insert that comes in it. And here is the blush. It is absolutely beautiful. So again, I am wearing it today and I am so excited and I am already happy with it so far. The texture is like nothing that I've ever felt before. The quality, um, does it have a scent? It does not have a scent and I love it. So I'm really excited to have added my very first Tom Ford blush to my collection and you already know I'm going to get another one. Two gift sets that I did pick up are actually for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing on my channel in December. The first thing was the Candle Hour gift set and I thought these were the cutest thing. And you guys, these smell so good. This was $20. If you love candles, I highly recommend that you check this out. I actually wish I would have got one for myself. I didn't. But this is a really, really cute candle set, isn't it? I mean, this spice uh, sangria candle in here smells amazing. So yeah, this is gonna go into a giveaway. The next gift set that I purchased is from Bite Beauty. And this is the Sweet Treats Party Prep Lip. And this one, ooh, they had two different flavors. Okay, yeah, this is the champagne. And this was just a cute little gift set. It was $12. And it has a sleeping mask and a travel size lip balm in there. I don't want to open it because this is going to be for a giveaway. And it also has a mini lip scrub in there as well. So I thought this was the cutest thing and this is real glass too, by the way. Love. Okay, the next thing that I picked up was a travel size Eve Long cleanser. I have wanted to try this cleanser for so long. Um, I don't know if my lights are is washing it out, but you get a 0.7 ounce uh, version of the creamy cleanser. Um, I have used it already once and it made my face feel so invigorated. It is a pretty pricey product because this here alone, and it also had a muslin cough in there, was $24, $20 or $24. The full size version of this cleanser is like $80. So um, I really wanted to check it out to see what the hype was all about. I cannot give you a full review at the moment, but there will be one coming soon once I've had a chance to try it out a few more times. But so far, I'm really liking this cleanser. Oh, I also want to mention that I picked up these cute little gift card holders. They actually have mirrors, you guys. There's a mirror in here. 
Um, I picked up two of these because my giveaway is going to be for two people and of course there's going to be a gift card in these along with whatever goodies I decide to um, stock the little uh, giveaway boxes with. So lashes. House of Lashes are now carried at both Sephora and Ulta. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a pair. I've never tried House of Lashes before so I wanted to go ahead and give these a try. I believe these were $14 and i don't even know which ones they were oh yeah here it is the this one is cecile and this is sophia i really like them both these are my style lashes so i'm excited about them both you guys know that i'm really i've been hesitant to buy a 30 dollar pair of lashes but i can totally do 12 14 dollars because my eyebrow lashes are around that price range so i want to give these a try and see how i like them so the next thing that i picked up was the ysl all hours concealer i had never tried it i didn't try it when it came out of about a year ago now and this is a full coverage 16 hour wear concealer this is the shade 5.25 in praline and this is her color and I want to mention that as it dries down it will deepen this is for highlighting only so I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it this is a pricey concealer I think it was 32 no 34 dollars so ugh. okay so I forgot to mention that this foundation that I hauled um when i bought the dior foundation on friday um i went ahead and restocked my omani luminous silk luminous silk foundation um this is what the bottle looks like just in case you guys never seen it before which i'm sure most of you have but yeah this is another pretty pricey one i think it's like 63 dollars 64 dollars so this was the perfect opportunity to pick up this foundation now i don't know why i feel like i'm missing something but i feel like i'm missing something but you get the gist i got a lot of stuff okay um plus things that i restocked in my collection you guys chime in down below let me know what you picked up during the sale it seems like it, it lasted a full month long i've been pumping out a lot of great content for you guys i'm going to be doing some more skincare focused videos here in the very near future so make sure you have that notification bell turned on and that is all i have for you today on this sunday afternoon um i will see you guys later bye